Hi, Mike Brookins here on this Wednesday afternoon and evening, and we are now in weather alert mode as winter has made a return. We've got accumulating lake effect snow, and eventually some of the coldest air of the season heading this way. But first, let's talk about the snow. Lake effect snow warning is now in effect for Syracuse, Onondaga County, and those dark blue counties, an advisory further to the south and the east. Well, high temperature today, right around 30 degrees, a little bit warmer up in Fulton, out towards Penyan and Rochester, colder in Ithaca, 29. Snowfall, we did pick up yesterday, 4.1 inches of snow, so our yearly total, or for the winter so far, the season, 45.8, that still pales in comparison to the normal high of 85.2. There's the numbers for the day, 23 and 30, pretty typical for this time of the year. But as we go forward, the next five days, a look ahead shows we are going to plummet teens for Thursday and probably falling into the lower teens later in the day. We may rebound slightly for Friday before that frigid weather comes in for our Valentine's weekend. You're going to want to hug your honey. <laughs> We're going to be down near zero for highs tonight. Shifting localized lake effect snow. So not everyone getting snow all the time, but where it is falling, it could be intense at times. Breezy and cold for tomorrow, snow southeast of Lake Ontario. That band will move by Friday morning back up east of the lake. Jefferson County could get hit harder then with snow showers developing area-wide Friday afternoon. So pretty busy weather palette and seven-day forecast. Shifting lake effect snow starting off the evening in southern Oswego County, dropping into central New York as we work through the evening. And it may do some wobbling around through the overnight. So uh, just keep an eye with live triple Doppler radar at our website, cnycentral.com. Could be a more steady flow out of the northwest during the daytime tomorrow. You'll see that spray of snow, Onondaga, and surrounding counties. Some of the higher amounts around the city of Syracuse, also up towards the Tug Hill. Thursday evening, still snowy. Late Thursday night, it moves up east of Lake Ontario, so maybe we catch a break for Friday morning, clean things up here in central New York, and we're going to have to do some shoveling. Snowfall forecast tonight, Wednesday night through Thursday and Thursday night, 6 to 12 inches for a lot of central New York with localized amounts over one foot. So your forecast this evening, the snow east of Lake Ontario, especially southern Oswego County, moving into the central New York area, Onondaga and surrounding counties, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, especially Syracuse northbound. As we go through the overnight, that west to west-northwest wind flow keeps the lake effect snow east and southeast of Lake Ontario. It's southeast of the lake tomorrow. At times, it may just be flurries, other times more intense. Temperatures, well, they're not going anywhere from 7 a.m., 16 degrees and likely falling into the lower teens. Well, Friday morning, not quite as cold. Well, we'll start off at 10. That's colder. But we'll get up to 25, and we'll get some breaks of sunshine. Snow showers develop area-wide during the afternoon. The exception, Jefferson County, where there'll be some lake effect during the day. Saturday, more lake effect snow coming into central New York, southeast of the lake, and frigid temperatures. Salt won't work well. The roads will be slippery and slick. It'll also be breezy, so the wind chills Saturday night as we drop to minus 9. Oh, they'll be down about minus 20, some spots minus 30. That gets dangerously cold. Sunday, scattered snow showers and flurries tapering off. For Valentine's, we get out to 10. Monday, 27, with some snow showers scattered around, additional scattered snow showers, maybe some rain showers mixing in late on Tuesday, with temperatures rebounding into the upper 30s.